Here we have three nociceptive neurons or primary afferents. These neurons would be in the peripheral nerve. Each neuron has a receptive field from which it transduces nociceptive stimuli into nerve impulses and transmits the information to the dorsal horn of the spinal cord where it synapses on a second order neuron or projection neuron. The receptive field of the second order neuron, pictured here in yellow, is the sum of the receptive fields of all those neurons that most strongly influence it. The receptive fields are the body locations that when stimulated activate each specific neuron, pictured here for each neuron and for the second order neuron. Now let's add a second dorsal horn neuron and the primary afferents that transmit the information from its receptive field. Again, those receptive fields would be specific for each primary afferent and each second order neuron. Again, reflecting the body area. This is how we localize stimuli. Your patient can accurately locate a painful stimulus in normal circumstances. However, afferents always branch and send collaterals to other neurons on which they normally have little influence because of the locations of their synaptic boutons. However, when the second order neuron becomes sensitized, these distal influence now uh, have more effect on the second order neuron and effectively expand the receptive field of that second order neuron. Now your patient feels pain over a larger area and it is less specifically localized. This is a characteristic of central sensitization.